The chapter begins with Luffy dragging Helmeppo, so he can find Zoro's sword. Helmeppo reveals that they are in his room. Meanwhile, Kobe is bleeding from being shot. Kobe tells Zoro that the Marines will kill him in three days. Kobe wants to free Zoro, and for him to join Luffy's crew. Two Marines get ready to shoot both of them. Luffy finds the katana. Luffy notices that there are three katanas when he sees Kobe surrounded by Marines. Captain Morgan confronts Zoro and Kobe. We flash back to Zoro's childhood. We see young Zoro losing a sparring match with a girl named Kuina. We see Zoro's sensei who is Kuina's father. Zoro claims he will become the world's number one swordsman. Late that night Zoro challenges her to a duel with real swords. Zoro loses again. Afterwards, Kuina explains that women aren't as strong as men when they get older. Zoro yells that his ambition is to become like her. They then make a promise to compete each other for the number one swordsman. The next morning Zoro finds out that Kuina passed away from falling downstairs. Zoro asks the sensei to gift him her sword. Crying, Zoro claims that he will become the greatest swordsman so that even the heavens will hear his name. At the base, Luffy uses Gomu Gomu no rockets again to fly out the window and into the execution site. He absorbs all of the bullets that were shot at Zoro and Kobe. The chapter ends with Luffy's rubber body slinging all the bullets back at them. 